Okay, so I thought I would do a garden tour. And I'm gonna show you all what my garden looks like. And right now, this is my beautiful apple tree that we absolutely love. And there's tons of beautiful apples in the fall from here. Here is my wonderful, beautiful chard that I'm gonna have to dig up because I'm gonna plant all my squash here. This is my squash area. Back there, I've got a collard, and you can tell, I mean, we've got a heat wave right now, so it's really hot. And I dug up all this a few days ago, got rid of all the weeds. And here are some of the squash that I planted. I'm trying a new method, and it's the olas, but I don't have the olas, so just put some, um, just holes, and I'm gonna be putting the water in there instead of on top when they get a little bigger and see how those go. Just an experiment. Here's more chard. I mean, it is just so pretty. Just beautiful colors. Beautiful Swiss chard. Look at those beautiful stalks. And then, here's my beautiful borage. Well, the bees love this. And you can eat these beautiful flowers. Here's my strawberry tower. Love my strawberry tower. Here is my wonderful little miniature um, pomegranate tree. That's what it is. And hopefully it gets nice and big. And here's my orange tree that we just pruned. And it's got beautiful blossoms all over and they smell so beautiful just beautiful right here's my mint and i got this years and years ago from trader joe's it was the three it was mint peppermint and oregano and i've just put it in a pot and i just cut it back every fall and it comes back here are some jerusalem artichokes that i put in a pot There's some pretty flowers. And this year I'm doing all flowers in the pots. More flowers. There's some zinnias. And so we'll see how those come up. And this is my little greenhouse. And I got it for free off Craigslist. And this is the kind where you put dirt in. But uh, I just filled it with like an old piece of wood and I put my little pots and those are all my tomatoes and my squash and my zucchinis and my basils back there and then more tomatoes up here and I grow everything you're gonna see from seeds and here's some more little tomatoes that didn't quite sprout so I had to reseed them but I've got lots of varieties here and then this awesome greenhouse has a cover and I cover it at night. They're my little babies. So I wanna keep them safe. And this has been working great. And every couple of years, I just have to replace one of these because the sun just burns holes through it. And here's some more flowers, zinnias. I love them, love the zinnias some more. I love these marigolds. They're the easiest plants to start and these actually reseeded and they're coming back. And then I've got some chamomile and oh, I forgot what this is but I'll name the name. More zinnias and I've got lots of different colors. The same thing. There's some borage growing right there. And I've got these beautiful marigolds, and I've got all different kinds of marigolds. Different colors, different shapes, and some of them I get from eBay, the seeds. My green onions, some more marigolds that aren't quite ready to come out. And then over here I've got my raised beds. And I've got my lettuce, my Boston lettuce. And spinach, this is a really nice curly spinach right here. More spinach lettuce 
check out this beautiful lettuce. I mean, it is ready to be picked and eaten. It's so beautiful. Now they're a little wilty because it's really hot today. Here's a celery and that just came back on its own. Here's my beans. And I've got a bunch of different types. And I want to show you guys the difference real quick. Here is an edamame. And it kind of has a little fuzz to it. And then this is a regular. So these are the sweet peas. And I plant them for my kids. So they can just come out and eat some. And then these are the beans. The bush beans. And I got a bunch of those. And as you can see, I've got weeds. This is an organic garden. And then... Over here, I've got some more of this beautiful lettuce. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'll put the name of it in the description. There's my, um, kabucha? Kabucha? Squash that I'm growing. Some green onions that are left over from our very mild winter. And then this one here is just dedicated to kales and there's some spinach that came back so here's another spinach that came back from last season and then these are little collard baby collards I mean um chards so I may just leave those and so I've got four different varieties of kales and collards growing here all organic all by myself me and my husband do all the work they're just beautiful. There's my curly, curly kale. Here's my pretty lilac. It smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. And this beautiful tree is my avocado tree. And I had hundreds of avocados. And now they're all eaten. I think there's only two left. And that's what they look like before. And Here's the little avocado flower right there. And then they turn into avocados. Yeah, nice and big and green. And then here's some more. I think these are forget-me-nots and some more flowers. And then this is kind of like I've done sunflower seeds here, so those will get nice and big. And then I've got some Jerusalem artichokes, just lots of little weeds going on there. And here's some cilantro, keeps coming back. Ooh. And then here more pretty flowers and i'm just gonna stand back so you guys can see all the pretty colors just so many pretty colors yeah i love this guy here He's so bright and pink and then these are edible look at that beautiful flower just so pretty and you can eat them These are the dwarf variety. I'll put the name of these below. Little dwarfs. So that is my garden in my back. I hope this lets you know that spring is on its way.